Hi, Craig Gators. It's Mrs. Collins here. It's Thursday. We are still on our theme of Earth Day, and we will have a, a book that relates to Earth Day in some way. This was a donation that our um, school received just before we had to uh, close, and it's from um, it's about agricultural literacy, and it's from New York Agriculture in the Classroom, and it's a donation for us, so I thought I'd share that with you today. And the book is called... <clears throat> Right this very minute, it's a table to farm book about food and farming, and it's written by Liesel um, Detlefsen, and um, Detlefsen, and it's a farm to table book that connects the food we eat during the day to the efforts made by farmers to thoughtfully produce food. I don't know if you've ever thought much about where that food that we're eating comes from. The book takes students on an explorative journey to trace the food on their plates back to its source, the farmer. So there we go. And this book will be in our library when we get back to school. What's that you say? You're hungry for breakfast? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the stories of so many right here on your table. Right this very minute, in a citrus grove, a grower tests oranges for ripeness. When the fruit is ready, the harvesting crew will pick the oranges, which will be squeezed into the juice you drink in the morning. Right this very minute, in a new field on a wheat farm, a farmer drills furrows, the perfect depth for seeds. Your pancakes were made with wheat that was grown, harvested, and then ground into flour. It looks like here today with the snow that was falling. Right this very minute, in a sugar bush filled with maple trees, a sugar maker replaces old collection buckets with a new tubing system to carry maple sap to a storage tank. The sap will be boiled down in an evaporation until it becomes thick and sweet like the maple syrup you've poured on your pancakes. What's that you say? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the knowledge of so many right here in your hands. Right this very minute, as the sun sets on a cranberry marsh, a grower starts protecting the crop from frost. The grower will pick up all will be up all night checking the sprinklers that keep the plants from freezing. Also, cranberries can be part of your trail mix. Right this very minute, on a southern farm, a peanut farmer installs soil sensors to make sure the fields aren't too wet or too dry. The sensors help the farmer decide when and how much to water these sensitive plants. What's that you say? It's time for lunch. Right this very minute, then you need a farmer. You have the hard work of so many right here in your lunchbox. Right this very minute, a dairy farmer tends the cows. The cheese in your sandwich was made with milk from cows that must be milked at least twice every day, whether it's a weekday, a Saturday, a birthday, or a holiday. Right this very minute, farmers till and test the soil for nutrients to make sure it's healthy before planting seeds that will grow into long, crunchy carrots. Right this very minute, an apple grower works with a beekeeper to bring beehives into an orchard. Hundreds of thousands of honeybees will pollinate the pale pink blossoms, helping each tree grow many bushels of apples for you to enjoy. What's that you say? You're ready for dinner? Right this very minute? Then you need a farmer. You have the pride of so many right here on your plate. Right this very minute, 
A cattle rancher moves the herd to a wide pasture to graze. She cares for the cows and welcomes their calves into the world. When the calves are old enough, they will move to new pastures or feed yards before they are harvested for the bat, the beef that will be made into hamburgers. Right this very minute, a farmer plans a crop rotation schedule to keep the soil healthy and grow more of the very best vegetables like the potato you've topped with broccoli and cheese. Right this very minute, some farmers prepare produce for delivery to grocery stores and others box it up to sell at local farmers markets. Before lettuce and tomatoes ever get tossed in a salad or put on top of a hamburger, they must travel from the farm to hungry customers. What's that you say you'd like dessert right this very minute? Then you need a farmer and sometimes a whole farming family. You have the dedication of so many right here on your fork. Right this very minute, a grower checks the weather forecast in a family owned strawberry patch while workers help hundreds of visitors pick their own strawberries. Right this very minute, a family checks their backyard coop to make sure the chickens have enough feed and fresh water. Then they collect eggs that get made into foods like the shortcake in your bowl. What's that you say? You want to grow your own food right this very minute? Then you need to think like a farmer. You can help plant a garden right here in your community. Right this very minute, you and your friends, family, and neighbors can work together to choose which crops to grow in your gardens. In a few months, you will enjoy healthy snacks and meals made with the fruits and vegetables you harvest yourselves. Every single day of every year, farmers tend their crops, care for their animals, and work hard to feed their family and yours. Next time you eat your breakfast, snack, lunch, dinner, or dessert, remember that somewhere, right this very minute, there's a farmer to thank you for your delicious food. And if someday you decide to become a farmer, right that very minute, you'll be doing your part to feed the world too. And there are some free educational activities and videos from real farmers showing what they are up to right this very minute. And you can visit www.feedingmindspress.org. And the goal of Feeding Minds Press is to create and publish accurate and engaging books about agriculture. And I will post that with the link. That's the story for today. I don't know if any of you guys started to plant any gardens, any seeds that you might um, be turning into a garden when it finally stops snowing out there. I know a lot of people are choosing to plant some things given that we are home right now. Bye, boys and girls. I miss you. I hope you're well. I hope you're still reading and studying and doing your work and, of course, listening to your parents. I miss you, and I can't wait till we're all back at Greg's school soon. Bye.